Hi, welcome to Carrie Creates Cards. Let's get creative today and have some fun. I hope you enjoy watching. Please like and subscribe. Hi, today we're going to have a play with the jelly plate and the brayer. And we're going to be using some distress inks. I'm going to see if I can get some nice prints and then maybe use them in future projects. So I'm going to use these ones. I picked raspberry, worn lipstick and spun sugar. So I'm going to pop a bit of those down. Maybe a bit of that just the bottom there. Their light colour. So I'm going to start down here where the lightest colour is and I'm going to work my way up. And I'm going to come in with some cardstock. It's just a light card stock that I have and I'm going to just pop that down now. I've had my jelly plate for years, like I'm sure many of you do. I, I don't know, I never seem to, to play with it anymore, I guess. And I just thought, it's sitting there, let's take it out and have a go. So just apply even pressure around and press that in and then hopefully we'll get something pretty. That's very nice. So I'm going to come in now with the dusty concord and I'm going to pop a bit of that down around. Let's go back over it with my brayer. And I'm going to come in with this little stencil. I'm going to pop the same piece of card down over it and just rub that evenly all around and we'll see what we'll get. us a nice print. And I'm going to wipe down this jelly plate. And I'm going to actually turn it over onto the other side because there's a little mark here on it that's coming out that I don't particularly want in my images. So we'll use this side. So yeah, that's quite nice. I'm going to use some different colours this time. So I've got Vintage Photo. I might use that for the top layer. But I've come up with the Wild Honey and the Bundled Sage. And I'm going to pop some of that down. Just going to go back and forth with that and blend them into each other. Let's get another piece of cardstock now. Just 
pop that down top of the wet distress ink. And lift that colour up. I guess these imperfections are all part of it anyway. But next I'm going to come in with the vintage photo. Pop some of that down. Just go over it with my brayer. Come in with this little stencil. that down now again well it's winter here again we'd had some nice weather there over a week ago and progressively it's gotten worse but it's really now we're back to the height of winter it's cold it's raining and it's very windy so hopefully this won't last too long. Now we'll pull that and see what we get. Okay. It will be quite nice. Not entirely satisfied. I didn't put enough pressure on this side. Just going to go back in there and go over that bit. Yeah, and that's better that time. I can most certainly use that for a project. So I'm going to come in next with my blues. So I've chipped sapphire, broken china and peacock feather. Sorry, I was just going to wipe that off there and I've realised I have wiped a piece. But I could have actually came back in and got another lift. So let's have a go and see what we get. Why waste it? Oh, lovely. Well, I'm happy I didn't waste that. Really like that. So, the gift that keeps giving. We just that wipe that off so that I can come in with a different colour now again. So I'll come in with my blues. I'm going to put some of the broken china down. And some peacock feather. Love these blues. They've always been my favourite. going to go back and forth and blend those two together. And find another piece of cardstock. Just pop that down. Very nice. I've got some left here that I might just pick that up as well. Okay. So let's see what will be popped down there. So I've got this little stencil that I'm going to use and I'm going to pop the chip sapphire down. that good and dark come back in whoops there we go just pop that down over it Mm 
and we'll lift that and see what we get. Oh, it's very nice too. Yeah, that's gorgeous. So I'm going to lift this up now and come back in. A clean piece of cardstock. And let's see what we'll get here. Now there's so much you can do with these jelly plates, but I'm only learning. have had it a while and I have used it, but I haven't been very adventurous, if I'm honest. So I'm going to look into a bit more, I think, these days. And there we go. How's that? That's beautiful. I'm just coming back in with the prints that we've made today. We've got this one loving this and this unexpected one it's very very nice so I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to make a card and I think I'm going to choose this one yeah maybe this one decided that I'm going to use these little stamps by Lavinia and I'm going to use a 5x7 card base. I'm going to come in now and I'm going to trim this down just smaller than that. So that's 5x7 and I want to use the nicest parts of this. So I'll just come in at four and seven eighths. I need a new blade. Right, I think I, anyway, it'll be fine. Four and seven eighths by six and seven eighths but actually I'm going to trim this piece off and then come back and get my six by seven eighths there so that I can take the top piece off here so there we go so next thing I'm going to come in with my stamping platform and I'm going to just pop that into the corner. I'm thinking actually maybe I'll use it this side up. I'm going to come in with a little meadow mushroom. And just pop him down there. Pick that up. Okay, put it back into the corner again. I'm going to come in with my Versafine Claire in Nocturne and ink them up. make sure it's back in the corner and just give it another go yes that's perfect so next I'm coming in with I think she's faith yeah faith and remove that there and I want to pop Faith down as though she's just going to leap up from the mushroom so I want her foot actually touching on the top of it 
a little picker up there. I don't know why this is. It's not staying put. It's not behaving for me. I guess just make sure it's back in the corner each time. You'll ink fake up. Very good. Just one more go, just to make her a bit brighter. Yeah, that's perfect. Happy with that. Where's my lid? So I'm going to pop her out of there. And next I'm going to come in and just create a bit of I guess a bit of foreground and just something going on around the sides. So I'm just coming back in with Vintage Photo, which was what I had used on the jelly, jelly plate earlier. And I just want a piece of paper. That I want to pop down there. Let me go this way actually. Just darken that up a bit underneath the mushroom. And then I'm going to come in around the edge with that ink as well. I've just got a tissue to pop my hand down on. I'm loving this background with the jelly plate. I think it's come out really nice. And it's a fast and easy. I mean, I know I pulled a few prints there now, so it took a few minutes, but really, it's a quick way of creating a background that you're not spending ages um, with the inks. Not that I love doing that as well. It can be very enjoyable. But if you didn't have time and you just had a half an hour and wanted to have a play, it's a nice option to have. Yeah. I'm liking that. So I have this little fellow as well. He's Pippin. He's mini Pippin. I'm going to take him out now and I'm going to put him on a little acrylic block. And I'm going to pop him down here. I think he would look nice. So for Pippin, I've decided I'll use the rainforest. You won't really see the colour much, I don't think, with that background, but... Have him upside down. Just ink him up well now. And we'll pop him down there on the ground. And he's looking up at the fairy.
there we are and you can see the color and it's nice just to have a little variation but I want to wipe that off because he'll stain as I've said before the Versafine Claire I love them as inks but if you don't clean them they do stain but I find you can clean them up very well with the hand sanitizer or I guess some alcohol would do the same job. So I've decided I'm going to come in with the, they're the fairy bonnet set. And I'm just going to do a bit around the edge. So let's see, we'll pop that down there. And I don't know whether I'm losing my mind or not, but I've got this yellow versus fine clear. I'm just going to try one piece to see. It might be hideous. If it is, I can always go over it with the nocturne. But you never know. So look, we'll we'll try. Might be nice. Okay, you can't even see it, so but what harm? So I'm going to ink it up in the nocturne. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Isn't that what the saying is? So I'm just going to come and pop that down there. Yeah, that's better. So I'm thinking I'm going to come in with the the verse stamp and do this side. So I'll just pop that on there and as I'm only using one side of it, I can put it on the smaller block, which I prefer using. I find the large ones can be awkward, but with the larger stamps, I guess you have to use it. Okay. Come in there with that. Yeah, and I'm quite happy with that as it is now. So just one last little thing I'm going to do is I'm coming in with my ruler. It was something I saw a lady do years ago on YouTube and I thought, wow, that's a fantastic idea. So I'm just going to go along the edge. It'll look as though I've matted the card behind with a bit of black cardstock, whereas I haven't. It's just a piece of ink, so it saves you, saves you cardstock. So it's just a black Sharpie. Any black marker you have will do. It 
the small little things that can make a big difference. I just frame your your card for you. There we go. I'm going to go along that edge with a scissors. Yeah, I think that that looks a bit better now. So I'm just coming back in with my card base and I'm going to pop that down. And the one last thing I'm going to do is just come in with a little bit of glitter, the water pen and just pop a bit of glitter onto the fairy's wings there. Give it a bit of magic. Yep. Maybe just a tiny bit. It might come in actually with the, the white pen. Go along the edge of the mushroom there, make it pop a bit. And I think that that's enough. So there we go. Just give you a close up. Can you see the way the, the wings shimmer there? Just makes it very pretty. And I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you have, please like and subscribe. And as always, thank you.